Hi, it's Elsie from Ten of Cups Tarot. Thank you for clicking here if you're brand new. I'm welcoming you and uh, if you would like to be part of this amazing group on YouTube, this uplifting, wonderful, kind group of people is ready to welcome you, um, ready to speak with you and exchange communications with you. Um, if you are uh, coming and you've been here before, thank you for coming back because it's because of you that I can stay doing this, the thing that I love all the time. If you need to know anything about this reading, it is down in the description, so please read there. This is going to be a general reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the sign of Aries. So this, this reading, Aries, is about your person. We're going to find out, first of all, who is your person um, before we find out who your person is. And just know that this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with you when I say who your person is and I call out that that sign it may or may not resonate with you it may not be your person always keep in mind that it may be someone that you haven't met yet so it doesn't necessarily have to be someone that you have in mind it could be someone that you haven't even met yet so what I'm going to do first of all is I am going to pull a card from the wisdom of the oracle and we're going to get the overall energy of what this reading is going to be about today so if you can please uh, give me the energies that are surrounding Aries and their person, please. So um, at this point, uh, Aries, it would be good for you to, to hit the pause button and to decide who your person is. Who is this reading about? What energies are we putting forward and who is this reading about? So um, just remember that it's a general reading. So when I say it's an air sign, maybe it's not an air sign. Maybe it's someone that you're already dealing with and it resonates anyway, even though I said it's an air sign. So because it is a general reading, I'm reading for thousands of people to log in, right? There's 3,400 people here. So, um, all right. So if you can please, Spirit, give me one card from the Wisdom of the Oracle so we can get the overall energy for this reading. For Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Rising Venus, and Jupiter. Who is their person? And what is the energy with their person, please? We are starting out with all that glitters. So the fact of the matter is, is all that glitters is not gold, Aries. <laughs> so it may look good, smell good, feel good, taste good. It may not be for you. All that glitters is not gold. Um, and uh, this is card number 16. So one and six is seven. Seven is heaven. So as done above will be done below. You can see that there is um, intuition there. Um, it looks like spirit is looking down upon the two masks. So someone could be wearing a false mask and they may be wearing a false mask just because they're nervous and scared. Um, Aries is kind of a hard ass sort of energy to deal with. You know, it can be depending on what is in your chart. Um, I am just going to take a look and um, see the relationship message here. See if we can get any more information about the overall um, energy of this reading. And I'm looking for number 16. Uh, 15, 16, there we go. So it says that um, uh, a need to see beyond the superficial. So your person, Aries, uh, is trying to look beyond who you are. So they may be attracted to you outside, but they're trying to dig a little deeper and, and trying to uh, look beyond the superficial. Um, the desire to don a mask or dress something up to disguise its true nature, trying to be something you're not, chasing after a very sparkly new thing meaning mercurial. So um, this person may see you as someone who is hiding behind a mask. They, um, they may see you as someone who is pretending, you know, who's living your Facebook life, who's pretending everything's great, but they know that underneath um, that, you know, there may be a mask that's on here that they just want to pull off and they just want to love you for who you are. So they're trying to look past the mask to find out who you are, Aries. Um, it says sometimes we try to become something we're not to impress others. You know, how many people do you know that live their Facebook life? I know many. Many are on my Facebook. <laughs> you know, I, I, do, I do see people where things are always going great and grand and wonderful for them. Do we all know that we all have problems? Yes, we do. We are all fallible. We are all making mistakes. Nothing is perfect. And um, some people do just live the Facebook life. So it says we embellish a story a bit, adding some dramatic elements to make us more appealing. So your person sees you as trying to make yourself more appealing, but they know you and they love you for who you are, but they see you as being a little bit unbalanced. So the real person comes hidden behind the sparkle and shine. So they're trying to get behind the sparkle and shine to find out who you really are. Then there are times when we don't see the true value of someone else because he or she may be 
um, not have the glitz and glamour that they seem so desirable. So um, it says here, now is the time to look beyond the surface, beyond the mask, to, es to the essence of the person. Who that person is, not what she or he can give you, is important. So see beyond the glitter and look for the inner glow. So your person um, is trying to f see who you are behind this all the glitters thing. They know you already. So this is, um, I don't think this is a new person. This is someone who knows you already and someone who knows that all the glitters is not gold. They see you as struggling, normal. Struggle is normal, right? Struggle is normal um, in life, period. So don't feel bad if you're struggling, Aries. It's okay. But the person, your person, sees you as having a hard time, um, wanting to come in and save you, um, like the prover proverbial knight in shining armor, right? So he or she just wants to save you. Um, and they're unsure of if you're going to let them behind the mask. That's a lot of information at the beginning of our reading, I'm just saying. Okay, so the first question I'm going to ask here is, who is Aries person? Who are we speaking of here? I'm just going to draw three cards. I'm using first the Tarot of the De La, Tarot de la Nuit. Um, and beautiful, beautiful depiction. So I'm asking Spirit right now, who is, who is the person that we're speaking about here? Who is Aries person? All right, and we've got one, two, three. Interesting. Okay, so your person could be Taurus. <laughs> Aries, your person could be Taurus. Um, they, uh, this, you know, is the Hierophant, of course, and this is the, the person who you may go to if you want to get married. Um, this is the person, this is the card of the energy of always doing the right thing. So always doing the right thing. Um, the Hierophant can also be someone who is clergy. They can be someone who is um, uh, a counselor as well. So if you're seeing a counselor, it may be someone who has a religious background. It could very well be your person could be someone who has a religious background. Um, but this person is always willing to do the right thing. And this is a Taurus card. Um, this is also a Taurus card. The Seven of Pentacles is the card of waiting. So um, this person is has been hurt. Um, your person has been really hurt and scarred. Look at the scar on the back of her. You can see someone has scratched her here. She has a scar there. So she or he is someone who has been hurt, who's been really hurt in the past. Um, she is the, oh, what is that ballerina called? It's a, it, there's a, a, you know, there's shoes there, right? There is um, ballet shoes or toe shoes. Um, and she is in, she's the black swan. That's what she is. She's the black swan. Now, swans mate for life. Um, swans mate for life. Both of these cards are cards of pentacles, which are, um, this particular one is of Taurus, but um, the seven of pentacles is uh, the energy of uh, the grounded sign, which is uh, Taurus, Virgo, and um Taurus, Virgo, and I know you're yelling it at me. <sighs> Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. How can I forget Capricorn? That's my best friend. But um, so it looks like two cards here are suggesting that your person would be an earth sign. So um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, and then there is a water sign here. You have the Ten of Cups. Now, the Ten of Cups energy is an energy of getting the things that you want. It's the energy of abundance. So this person could have also water in their chart could be an earth sign and a water sign. They could have water in their chart. So um, I feel as though their sun sign is Taurus. So that would be um, the, um, the, the personality of the person is a Taurus. Um, the other energies though, it looks like they could be either earth signs or water signs. You do have the seven of pentacles, which is waiting, and you do have the 10 of pentacles, which is the absolute abundance, right? The 10 of pentacles is, um, I mean, or I'm sorry, the Ten of Cups, but the Ten of Cups is a deep emotional love. It's the maximum deep emotional love. Oh, I think I just saw, perhaps that was me, but I think I just saw an orb. Anyway, um, that's been happening a lot lately. Um, so this is, um, it looks like either water sign or the um, uh, water sign or, yeah, earth sign, right? So I am going to uh, now pick up the Gilded Tarot. And I'm just going to see, I've got things boxed and flipped. There's all kinds of chaos going here. 
just kidding. Um, there we go. Okay. So now we're going to ask Spirit. Can you please tell us, Spirit, um, if this person is Taurus, if they are an Earth sign, um, if their Sun sign is Taurus and they do have water in their chart, can you please tell me what steps... Um, or no, why, why hasn't this person come forward yet? Um, their person, why hasn't Aries person come forward yet? Well, you know, being Taurus, I know that's probably because they're stubborn. They're probably waiting for someone to reach out, but we'll see what the cards say. Hmm. Okay. So they haven't come forward yet. They do want to come forward. Their engines are red. They do want to come forward again. This is, um, uh, cancer. Right, so again, we've got another confirmation that there is water in the chart. Um, this though is Aries, right? This is Aries, and um, this card is the card of the fool. So this person, your person Aries, does want to have a new beginning with you. They do. Um, the 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 thing is, is that they're exhausted. So your person is exhausted. They have been through some kind of um, fast moving. Um, situation like maybe a whirlwind romance or you know maybe it's something that um is um they they might have to travel to see you guys might live a distance from each other so they might literally need to get into a plane or a car to come see you and it could just be that the distance is what's keeping you apart um although i see that they do want a new start but they are exhausted man they've been through it um and it might be because of this ten of cups the Ten of Cups is, you know, it is a good card. It's a card of um, having all the wishes and dreams that you want. If that's what their life is right, like right now, it is exhausting because they're working really hard. Um, they're working hard for their Ten of Cups. And so um, they still have things that are outstanding in the background. And Aries, I think that they haven't come forward yet because, one, they're exhausted. They're the wounded warrior. And two, because they're waiting for the last strike. It might be getting out of a relationship, getting into a new relationship, and they're waiting for their other person to finish up with the divorce, the, the, the separation. But this person is coming forward. They do want to have a new start with you. And they may have to get into a vehicle to do it. But I think they're willing to do that because they see this as a good relationship. They see you as doing the right thing, Aries, that you are um, confident and that you are very um, loyal, um, that you are very moral and that you always do the right thing. So they are willing to get into this vehicle, but I have a feeling that they are not yet um, able to do so because it could be a money constraint. Um, it could be they can't leave work. It could be um, they're in the midst of... Um, they're in the midst of um, finishing up an old relationship. So that could be divorce and separation. All right. So can you tell the tell me the actions? What are the actions that Aries person is going to take towards them in order to move a little closer? And if you can give us a timeline, that would be awesome, Spirit. So what steps is your person going to take to come toward you here, Aries? Well, they're going to come out as the emperor. So your person could also have Aries in their chart. <laughs> they really want you. They see you as um, someone that they really want to travel to, Aries. So um, they see you as someone that um, is worth whatever they have to do to get to you. They want, they want the emperor. They want you, Aries. They want the emperor who is um, making good decisions, who is advising all the kings. Um, they see you as abundant. They see you as the guy in charge or the girl in charge. Um, they also see you as a little bit harsh. So um, they see you as, oops, sorry, that was in the reverse. I don't read reversals in general readings. Um, but they, they see you as someone harsh. So they see you as someone who could be very harsh, um, that makes decisions based on the need rather than the want. Um, and uh, the devil is someone who can almost have too tight a hold on them so they might be worried that um, you are going to grab onto them and not let go and since they're coming out of a relationship and they're coming in as the energy of the fool um, they're really scared that they're going to get themselves into the same relationship that they just got out of so there may, may need to be a healing that needs to take place the thing is is that um, when it comes to relationships and coming together that sometimes the um, the universe will bring you together 
you'll meet, you'll get together, everything will be great, and then crap will hit the fan and chaos will ensue. You guys go to your separate ends of the earth and you are going to be, um, um, you are going to be, uh, you know, sent to your separate, basically your separate ends so you can both heal. So there's a healing process sometimes here that needs to take place. Um, and it could be because of the energy of the devil. The devil makes you feel chained to things. It could be because maybe this person has an addiction. Maybe your person has an addiction that they're trying to clean up or trying to get away from a relationship that really kept them, you know, tightly bound to the person that they were with. So um, they want to um, get away from, they feel chained to whatever is in their past. Um, they do want to come forward and have a new start with you, but um, they are exhausted and they know that they're going to have to make a move, either make a move or get in their vehicle and see you. It's like you guys live at a distance and so you can't be together right now. So I am using, for the first time, I've had these cards for a while and I haven't used them because I have to be honest with you, they sort of intimidate me a little bit. If they are the Lenormand cards, they are beautiful. Um, you can see that they have a, they are beautiful and I'm sure you've seen them being used before, but they do read different than the tarot. And I'm just going to ask Spirit, if we can have a little more information, can you tell us why, why, why has, um, why does Aries person feel that there is something behind the mask, something that they need to peel away before they can be with their person? Um, if you can give us a little more information about, you know, the outcome and whether that person is going to come forward for Aries, please. And um, why are they, why are they hiding behind the mask? <laughs> Just going to shuffle one more time. Third one, that's what I'm going to do. All right. Okay. Okay, so that person is going to travel to you, by the way. They are coming to travel to you. That is in your outcome. I'm just going to throw on my glasses because I do see the first card that I pulled out um, was the sun, which is great. That's good news. The next card I pulled out was the moon, which is interesting. And then the next card I pulled out is the card of travel. So um, I'm just going to grab the book, the Lenormand book, and I'm just going to look into that. If you are familiar with Lenormand, good for you. <laughs> but I'm not, so I'm learning, and I'm going to go to card number 31. 31, the sun, it says, I'm a success. Hear me roar. Woo, that's what we need, success. We need to bring you together with your person, Aries. So I'm success, hear me roar. I control your ego and charisma, which is good because this card has come out on the emperor. And we all know that when the emperor is in a bad mood, he can have a bit of an ego problem. So um, he is the du dude or the woman that is large and in charge. And Aries can have a little bit of an ego. Just because you're such a good leader, you can have a little bit of an ego, I'm just saying. So um, it says here, I boost your confidence and courage. I bring victory and glory, but be careful not to get too cocky or you will be burned by arrogance. Like... Um, Icarus. So, uh, Icarus? I, I, I C A R U S. Icarus? So, um, you could be burned by your own success, is what it's saying. So, um, it is time for you to, um, uh, um, yes, be courageous, um, Aries person, to, to be courageous, to come forward, to see Aries, but you need to peel it back just a little bit. Um, if you are, in fact, the emperor, if you are the emperor in reverse, the emperor, I don't read reversals. This one came out in the upright, so we don't have to worry about that here. But um, yeah, it looks like there is going to be um, some success in this relationship if we can get it off the ground. Um, other than that, I'm going to go to 32. The sun, let me take a look here. It says here, the sun shines on everything under its light. Um, uh, and everything under its light grows. The cards around this card in a reading will be uh, aspected as it bodes well at the end of a line of cards too. So the light that shines from the sun card is energizing and revitalizing in nature. It can also significantly significant, signif signify the confidence to step out um, into the light uh, by engaging with projects uh, or take a new direction. So um, engaging with projects, taking a new direction. The new direction is you're going to get yourself in a plane and a car and um, Aries person that we're speaking to, you're going to get yourself to Aries, right? Um, so uh, in 32, it says the moon is love and romance. So again, love and romance is good. The success 
for love and romance, which is what you need to hear. Um, love and romance, uh, intuition and psychic abilities, imagination and creativity are the few of the ideas I stand for. I reach across the sky and influence the waters. I am admired all around. I bring fame. I bring honors. So, you know, the Aries, the Aries that I know are very honorable people. They're very honest. They're steadfast. They're a great friend. They're a great um, love. Um, they're usually very attractive people and if not on the outside definitely on the inside because of their strength and stature and confidence right so um, this is love this is love and security it is um, uh, an engaging kind of energy um, and uh, reaching across the sky and influencing the waters so that person is definitely um, engaging and uh, this person I believe is coming towards you because I do believe that that boat is a boat travel. Let me take a look. Two and three. I take you on vacation or on business trips. You will need a suitcase for where you are going. So this person, uh, Aries, is at a, a, a large distance. So they could be across a body of water. They could be on the other side of the world. Um, it says here that um, distance is what I am known for and I'm constantly in motion. Look at the cards next to me for the clues and cues of the changes I bring into your life's journey. So this person is coming to you. They are traveling from a long way to see you. You will have success, love in this relationship. Um, and uh, it looks like you are using your intuition for that. And so I think you have called this person in Aries. It says here a journey to is to be embarked upon when there's a new horizon to be explored. Nice. There's a new horizon to be explored. Um, in the game of hope, where we have the first pu publication of the symbols of Lenormand, um, it is indicated to be a favorable journey. So their journey is favorable. They know they're coming to see you and they're happy about that. Um, it says here, in the Gilded Reverie, we see that the card is um, a fantastically flying ship. Flying ship. Um, and it says, an elaborate brigantine um, taking us to new vistas and landscapes. So this person's definitely coming from a long distance, possibly another country. So um, it says here, later decks have modified to whatever, blah, 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 we don't need that. The nature of the journey will usually be pleasant and will be favored, such as a holiday, depending um, as ever upon the cards that surround it. So that's a really good reading, you guys. Um, it looks like your person, your Aries person, uh, it could be Aries, um, I'm sorry, it could be, yeah, it could be someone with the energy of Aries. It could be someone who is Taurus um, or uh, could be a water sign, which is um, the uh, um, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. So it could be somebody. You've got the, the fool twice. So your person is definitely coming. Um, your person is coming and they're coming from a long distance. So that may be what's holding you up right now. It looks like this is going to be a long and prosperous relationship. It's going to be solid and, pardon me, it's going to be solid. It's not without its flaws. Um, that person is, is taking their time because they're coming from um, a, a hard relationship that has put them, that has thrown them into the nine of... Um, the nine of wands and that's the wounded warrior right um this there's lots of love here there's lots of love between you and your person aries um i wouldn't worry about it they really are trying to come to you they really do want um they really do want success with you so they want this to be a successful relationship i do believe that they are trying to finish up loose ends now the thing is is we're looking at this and so i have a feeling that this person is coming to take off this mask. They think that perhaps you're not giving them the whole picture, and it might be because um, you have things going on in the background as well, maybe trying to clean up old relationships, or maybe you just don't want to broadcast your crap, and sometimes we just don't want to. So I feel as though your person is coming towards you, and um, they really want to come in quickly. It is going to be successful. There's lots of love here, possibly marriage, and you've got the the fool twice. This is a new start for you, Aries. It is going to happen, okay? Um, if you need to know anything else, please look below. Um, if you need a personal reading, please get a hold of me my email. My email is down below. And right now for the month of December, when you buy a $60 reading, you are getting a 15-minute reading free for family or friends. So this isn't something that you would use. It's something you would give to someone as a gift. So family or friends um, are going to come to me. Uh, they'll give me the coupon that I will send to you, and uh, I will give them a 15-minute reading with one question. 
I don't have anything else to say. So if you have any questions, please use my email. Please leave me a comment. I appreciate when you share and you like. Um, and uh, I appreciate when you subscribe because the only way that I can keep this channel going is with your help. So your person is coming, Aries, I promise. Okay, your person is coming and they love you. They are very attracted to you. They have hopes and dreams with you. You'll be okay. All right, gotta go. Mwah.